I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> The original agenda was posted on January 8th at Herrings Lake Ripley Inn, Oakland Town Hall, and the town website, and published in the Jefferson Daily Union on Friday, January 11th. The revised agenda was posted on the 14th day of January 2019 at Herrings Lake Ripley Inn, Oakland Town Hall, and Lake Ripley Family Restaurant. Before we get into public comment, I do have a uh, statement I'd like to read. Uh, we've had some uh, some uh, input from constituents and I thought it would be wise to do this. Uh, the board is aware that some people were concerned with the closure of the uh, town office during the last week of the, of the year. The office was not closed for vacations, rather was closed because we were short of qualified staff people. In early December our clerk treasurer resigned this was at the same time the tax bills were to be mailed. Efforts by some of our town supervisors along with me and our highway employees resulted in those getting mailed on schedule. As we approached the holidays, we determined that our <coughs> deputy clerk had scheduled some medical appointments and leave. Uh, the decision was made to close the office. However, the board arranged for the drop box to be checked and emptied regularly during the day and for mail to be collected. At times, various board members, including me, were in the office over these days and responded to people who rang the bell at the door. The members decided to open the office on 1231 to receive payments from the citizens, and we received a lot of them. We have been able to reestablish regular hours since January 2nd, and as noted in our agenda for tonight, we'll be discussing filling, filling the vacant position. We also had computer problems where only one computer would work for recording tax payments. Hex the agenda item for updates to the town computer system. We sincerely apologize for any inconvenience you may have experienced as a result of this. You should know that several of our board members and I have spent many hours staffing the office and picking up additional duties. We ask for your continued patience and understanding. I would also like to take this opportunity <coughs> to thank uh, Ted. Ted has been instrumental. Uh, he understands computers. He has spent numerous hours uh, working with the system, trying to get it to work the way it's supposed to work don't necessarily always cooperate, but he did the best he could and frankly, uh, I think did a great job. So thank you, Ted. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay, so public comment on anything not on the agenda. Please step up to the mic, please. Jeez. Oh, right away. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, thank you. Uh, as an introduction, I'm Tom Lyon, and my wife Barb and I built a home here in the town of Oakland 16 years ago at W9172 Hidden Valley Place in that Oakland Park subdivision. The division is roughly a quarter century old. During this time, every lot has been built upon, I think about 50 in, in number, making for considerable heavy traffic in the construction process and the need for reconstruction of the road in some areas due to sewer and utility installments over the years. Now, I'm not familiar with the minimum requirements for the laying of asphalt for such a purpose, but recognize that as is now parting and coming up, it's not very thick, as evidenced by the crumbling in, in many areas. My reason for appearing before you is to inquire as to what the Town of Oakland Road Strategic Plan is and how the plan evaluates re reconstruction needs, traffic density, age of the road, and all the other things that go into it. In the case of Oakland Park, the entrance and exit are one and the same, as you're aware, so that makes the traffic heavier in that one area. Also, was there reconstruction agreements? I don't know of any, but maybe there was. 
uh, between the developer and the town at the time that the development was approved. Now I recognize that budgets are limited and I'm not aware of what funding mechanisms the town has used to finance major projects. I have been told the routine sources, of course, are state aids at something over $2,000 per mile and property taxes uh, that uh, have limitations by law. Uh, beyond that, uh, those revenue generators, I've been told there's the opportunity for low interest borrowing through the state trust fund and TRIP, the town road improvement project whereby the county and the state can split the cost of bid projects in excess of $100,000. Although discussion through the years, uh, I understand there is, there is no opportunity for road tax placed on heavy vehicles. I would vote in favor of that if I had my say. And there are no gas taxes on fuel used by implements of husbandry. Because no one has the right to be wrong in their facts, please correct me if I've misspoke on any of this little bit of narrative. And again, my reason for appearing is to learn about the strategic plan for road reconstruction and maintenance in the town of Oakland and, and specifically uh, how it might uh, affect uh, the Oakland Park Estates area. So with that, uh, members of the board, I thank you for your cooperation and have a happy new year. Could you leave us a copy of that with Tom? That'd be great. Thank you. Yeah. Do you need a back? No. Thank you, Thank you for much. your concern. My he, wife, I my think wife runs a computer and she can make a copy. There my, you go. And my guess is Tom has that, rec that memorized, right? <laughs> 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 Thanks, Tom. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, any other public comment on items not on the agenda? Go ahead. Well, I would just add that rather than it's not on the agenda, don't take it up, but my real purpose was to learn what the plan is and how you work through it. And I'd be happy to take a phone call and come down here and visit with a board member uh, sometime just one-on-one -on -one if that would uh, expedite your time. Okay, appreciate that. Thank you. Anything else? If not, we'll move on uh, to approve the prior month meeting minutes. They've, in, they've been in your packet. Everybody get a chance to review them. Mm -hmm. Any changes or no. additions? I'll move, I'll move to approve the December 18, 2018 board minutes. I'll second. Okay, motion's made and seconded to approve the uh, meeting minutes from, from uh, our last uh, monthly meeting. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. We've got an original there. Mm -hmm. Okay, next item is updates from the police chief. I was just going to say, we, you, yeah, well, we, we didn't want to take away from your nap time later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on DNR forms right now, so there's no more napping at this point. Uh, I don't have a whole lot. It's January. It's quiet. Sidewalks are folded up. Um, Got some equipment in that I had ordered uh, right after the budgets were approved. The new box is in for the uh, bolt launch, so we're not digging into spiders and other strange things and fishing hooks. Um, so hopefully once the weather warms up, my good friend Jeff and I will work on that. Oh yeah, got a plan. <laughs> got a plan. That scares me already. But, um, <laughs> Make sure it's uh, in concrete. Yeah, in, in, in rebar as well. Yeah, Absolutely. we lost we lost one of them. <laughs> Somebody pulled it out. Yeah, that was a fun investigation. Just followed the drag marks into Dane County. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> Easy one for me there. Uh, uh, what else is new? Um, new battery came in for the AED. A little pull up there. Um, yeah, I really don't have a whole lot going on. Kind of okay. quiet. Um, anything going on with the fire up here? I haven't been advised of anything. County's handling that, and yeah, as far as the fatal accident goes, that's another county investigation. Although we did participate slightly in it on both ends, but 
nothing they're going to share with us, so I, I don't have a lot. Any update on the drug task force? Uh, I've got a meeting scheduled for Thursday morning. Um, I did get an email from uh, Sergeant Gray. They may postpone it for a week because there's some conference for the Wisconsin Chiefs of Police Association. I'm not a member of it. They're meeting with legislators in Madison to discuss <coughs> upcoming legislation and issues. I imagine the big topic is going to be the um, opioid issues going on in the state. But uh, that meeting, say, I have never been to it, ever been a member of their association. Um, there's a small peanut in the lake. Uh, pretty much all the big chiefs get to have their say. So yeah. I figure I might as well just stay here. <laughs> <laughs> but that's yeah, that's uh, highlights of the day there. Bruce, any news or updates on the sexual predators situation over there? Uh, we've got three over there because one was moved to Milwaukee. His sanctions were up. So he had options of uh, once the sanctions are up, he no longer can stay there. And he packed up his bags and moved to Milwaukee. And I think he's living with his mother in Milwaukee or somebody. And, but he's and out of our here. They it, moved the other one. Again? Yeah, the other one moved into that so other house. One yeah, there's two in one house and one in the back house right now. So, because they took the other one that was in the back and moved him forward then. So, so that's all we got on them. The notices we got are the ones that are here. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Those three. Those three. Yep. And it's been quiet over there. I've noticed <coughs> a lot of activity, but it's all state employees and their regulators checking on them. So they're doing their job, and you know, we got eyes on them. So that's all we can do. It's kind of the way the game is played. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Thank Bruce. All right. Thank you. Next item is update on Badgerland disposal. Oh. Uh, no. Nope. Oh, I'm sorry. Road, I'm sorry. Jeff's here. Show up. Update on <laughs> supervisor. Once yeah. he shows up and we yeah. can call him. You're usually not here, Jeff. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Jeez. If you're welcome. Huh? Yeah, right. I'm glad you came. <laughs> um, pretty quiet. We've only had... Uh, one significant snowfall that we had to plow on, the rest we've been salting, and um, which has given us a chance to get caught up on a lot of the dead trees that are out there. Uh, the ash trees have been taking a hit with, uh, with the nice bugs that we have. We're gonna have a bunch to remove. Yeah, we're working on it. We're working on them. We'll see a lot more to come next next fall because you yeah. kind of going into the fall, you could see there was a few. I'll just see how they pan out, but. They usually don't come back. It's, just, it's really a shame. I mean, we're, we're losing a lot of trees, yeah, a lot of ash trees. Yeah, we are. Um, that uh, the blower back came in. We got it last week, so okay. just waiting for it to thaw out so we can go pick up some leaves. If you yeah, if you do have a, a decent day, it would be nice to get the try it out. Yeah, get the swept. Yeah, get them cleaned out of there. Yeah, yeah. Um, flooded roads? Marsh got a, Road got is, a flood? Uh, we got all the ice off it, but there's water on it, um, which by this weekend we'll have we'll ice again. Yeah, so I, we've talked today about building that road up this summer. <coughs> um, to get us through this, I think I'm going to get a couple loads of gravel in there just to build that up for now. and. Have it be a gravel part. Could you just dump that over the top of the ice? Yeah, uh, yep, that's all I'm gonna do. Yeah, I mean you almost have to do yep. something because we've had an accident out there. Yeah, so we're just gonna Not build it serious, up, and make it so it's it'll yeah. be gravel, but it won't be ice or water. Yeah. yeah. How much water is on it? No. That's probably three <laughs> inches. Three, um, four inches in the be the eastbound lane, almost to the center lane. See, when you get a rain now, it's got nowhere to go. Yep. It, it just stays on top, and, and that's, that, that's marsh. So, I mean, it just fills up in there. Whatever's running in there right. ends up on top of that road. Yep. That's been built up before. Yeah. Uh, we did that, what, five, six years ago. Yeah. Yep. But I don't think there's much of a bottom there. No, and the more weight you put on, the faster it sinks. So, so it's going, yeah, it just, it's never ending. You mentioned about salting. Yeah. Um, I see the county's been using that liquid salt. Yes. How's that been working in your opinion? I think it's a uh, better use um, sprayed on the salt as you go instead of putting it down now. Um, there is some reports that show that it, it doesn't pack down. You can scrape the road off cleaner. Um, it does 
stay on the roads for a while after you spray it. But it is highly uh, you know, toxic, toxic stuff. Yes, it is. And if we get a rain, you know where that's going. It's going in your inlet. So the main reason the county did I shouldn't say the main reason. One of the main reasons the county did that is they take care of a lot of miles of county road, but then they also take care of a lot of miles of state road and federal highways, the interstate included. So <clears throat> with their, you know, the number of employees they got out there doing it, they got to try to get ahead of this stuff. That's, that was one of the big reasons that yeah. they chose to do this. It's I, an expensive, expensive changeover. I remember uh, I see it more beneficial on the concrete because concrete don't hold the heat like asphalt does. Uh, yeah. So you'll get a you know a little frosty morning and that will be more problems on concrete. How many times have we, they've been through on A already this year? It's got to oh, be a two. half a dozen oh, for yeah. sure, if not yeah. more. Yeah. I've seen it. Yeah. So I mean they do it prior to like a day of an event yeah that's yeah. what they that's that that's the plan with that. now an event like today where we had a little bit of freezing drizzle yeah. and you know mist and stuff that works great for that you know you're not going to have the problems but you know we don't unless that's the norm we're not going to get a lot of that in the winter time hmm. okay anything else no nope. Keep an eye on the roads this winter, because oh yeah, with all the rain we've had and as wet as it's been, I I don't know what we're going to be in for a road tour in the spring. <laughs> that could be a tough one. Depending on how much moisture we have, spring we might be pumping water. Yeah, just to save a couple of them that we built up. Where are we going to put it? Pump the water to? No idea. <laughs> but yeah. just so you're aware. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Thank Thanks, you. Jeff. Yep. Okay. Next item: uh, updates from on Badgerland disposal. Ted, I'm going to let you handle yeah. that. You've been taking pretty much the calls and the communication yeah. with Badgerland. So, the um, getting off to a start is always sometimes difficult, and there were some some confusion. But I I have to say that for the most part. Badgerland has has been fairly good about resolving an issue. If we've if we've said we need something here, if we have a problem there, um, we usually get a call back saying we've we've been there, we've done that. The other day, even on some of the carts, the guy from the truck called the office and talked to me and said, "Is this where I need to be putting four or five? So they've been they've been responsive. I think the, the two issues that are probably causing people the most difficulty is we now have three different collection cycles. Mm -hmm. um, here on the, on the north end, we have a gray area that's Monday, and their recycling day is different from a neighboring area that's the white area that gets recycled. So I live in the gray area. Jean lives in the white area. My, my recycling was last week. Jeans was this week, which is different because it used to be that everybody around the area was all the same day. So you'd look out and say, oh, my neighbor put out. Well, that, and that doesn't work anymore. So we do have schedule. We have copies of the schedules here if, if you're not there. We've also posted on our website that it'll pop up um, as we get closer to a date. And it'll say that is the gray area or the white area recycling so that you can see that. But you can come by and pick up that. And I think the, the second thing is um, people either did not get the letter or thought it was some kind of junk mail and threw it away. And, and they, they don't understand that if it doesn't go in the bin, it won't get picked up. It has to be in the bin. That's why they gave you the, the small houses as bins so that everything can get in there. Um, other than that, you know, there have been some unique issues, but those were unique to, mm -hmm. to particular houses. Um, so well, one thing you might add is is uh, there are smaller bins. If you don't like the big bins, there right. are smaller bins available. Will probably be available around February first. 
they didn't have any at, right, at mid February. Mid February. Yeah. Uh, so if you call them and say, "I want the 65 gallon bins instead of the 95 that you got," uh, they will interchange it. They'll swap them out. Yeah. Uh, but they are still they are still larger. Right? They're only a third smaller. So yeah, they're yeah. It's like two 30 gallon yeah. ga garbage cans instead of three. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so I mean, I know some people have already notified them. So it, if yeah. you if you want smaller bins, there they are available and will be available mid mid up mid February or so. Uh, <clears throat> there was one other thing I was going. Oh, the uh, when the letter went out, yeah, and I think it was in December, mm -hmm. something like that people didn't realize that there was a difference in the maps. I mean, they got, <clears throat> you know, they got their map, but they didn't realize there was a gray area or a white area or whatever, and they just, you know, in the past, everybody got picked up recycling right. garbage same week. That's well, now all at once that's changed a little bit. So it's gonna be a matter of getting used to that. Right. That's basically all that. And, and I agree with what you're saying. I think the biggest confusion was the map issue. And I think as we get more caught up in the office, if we could get on the website, the map itself, so people it's, can just go quickly yeah, do it. Yeah, it, there's a map. copy posted here, and it is hard. I mean, I, sometimes we need to go look at the, the close-up maps. Oh, oh, yeah, you're saying the general one-page map is, is yeah. it's not each address is listed on it, right? It's just kind of a borderline right. around it, so it's hard to tell. Right, I get that. Okay. Anything else on no. Badgerland? That's about it. Thank if you. not, we'll move on. Okay, next item is uh, discussion and possible action on no. membership. No. Raise, raise, raise order. Update. update. Number eight. Raise and Number eight. You got the I passed one. another one? Oh, yeah. yes. Yes, I did. I did. Are you in uh, a hurry? Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I well, glass. It happens. <laughs> yeah, it happens with with uh, when you get old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute, we're the same age. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Update in, on raise and repair order for N4045 County Highway A. That's the property on the other side of uh, of uh, Lake Ripley Inn and around the corner. Uh, I talked to Mary Bailing. We had put a raise and repair order in due by the end of last year, December 31st. Uh, she called on January 2nd, called Mary, our attorney, and she meaning the, owner. the owner, and asked for an extension. Mary said, well, there's no extension available. You need to get a hold of the building inspector, inspect the property, and figure out what it's going to take. And then we have to come back and take some action on it. So I talked to the building inspector uh, Monday. He talked to the owner on Friday night. And Greg and Troy, the building inspectors, are both going out there Thursday morning to check it out. So. That's basically where we're at. When they make their determination of what it's going to take to fix it up, then we're going to have to make a determination. Are we going to extend them 30 days? Are we going to, are we going to give them some time to do this? How are we going to react to that? Uh, my thought is we, we ought to wait, and that's what I told the building inspectors, we ought to wait until they get in there and find out what kind of shape this place is in. At a minimum, we need to get that yard cleaned up. We need to get that junk out of the yard. Uh, well, as a minimum, I mean, part of the front of that garage is falling in. I know. I mean, that, yeah, you know, that's we, a structural issue. <laughs> I understand. That's yeah. what the building inspector is yeah. going there for. That's right. But at a minimum, they ought to get that camper out of there, the car, the boat, the whatever other junk is there, get that out of there. And, and I'm... I would be in favor of not giving them very much time to do that. If you remember, they were here two and a half years ago yes, and said so. they were going to clean the place up. Mm -hmm. 2016, I think that's right. So. September, and, and basically one of the same things that they 
said at that point, oh, well, we've had illness in the family, but we'll get yeah. it done in 60 days. Mm -hmm. They've repeated now on yeah, January 2nd, same. well, we still have illness. And it's like, yeah, it's the same excuse we heard. Yeah. Well, 16. like you said, it's turned into a dumping ground or yeah. whatever. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah, there's stuff in there that wasn't there in 2016. Yeah. So, so that's where we're at. I expect uh, uh, Thursday, Greg and, and Troy are going to meet with them. And in turn, I'd like to have them stop here and talk to us about what, what they found so we can kind of determine where we go. Mm -hmm. We got Mary involved, so uh, everything is you know, above board and legal. So Have they responded to anyone yet? Mary. Oh, yeah. Just they, Mary. Yeah, they called Mary, and they called Greg. They called the building inspector to, uh, to uh, set up an appointment. Mm -hmm. So we'll see where that goes. I didn't ask a time. Uh, you certainly give you can certainly give Greg or Troy a call. Uh, that would, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Does the uh, do do you think the assessor should be there too? No, he's probably a prime candidate. Yeah, yeah. No, right. I don't no, think I legally don't you can be. I, yeah. I I threw that out there as uh, it's you know. All, it's all subject, you know, get an idea about quality and condition of the property. Yeah. Because if it's a high quality building, it's going to be high quality. Well, and it, you know, we we probably don't want you out there. Yeah. Well, actually, they probably do. They probably should. They probably do, yeah. but we probably uh -huh. don't. Is yeah. what I'm saying. Okay. Right. Yeah. If you if you give uh, if you give Troy a call on the building inspector's phone number, uh, uh, that would probably be a good idea. Yeah. Because they ought to be introduced to you too. So, will it wait until our next meeting to decide on the? extension or is that something that we can I, give I, you the authority to do or well I, I mean, I, how is that happening I, well I guess you could I mean it's a board decision as to what we do from here we've got the repair and raise and repair order done that was the end of the year she asked for an extension the attorney granted that until she gets Thursday. the building inspector out there to look it over and give us a uh, an idea. Uh, <clears throat> well, I mean, I certainly like the idea of cleaning up the yard, but I don't know how much we have to really say we got to, you got to move your car out of the yard of the camper. I mean, I'm not sure how far that'll go, but the structural issues that you see from the road, I think you can have some big grounds on that because that's a safety issue for me. Well, there's nobody living there. Yeah. That is a building inspector issue. Right. The yard is is an issue we should be able to address immediately there's no reason that that yard can't be brought back to long grass it hasn't been cut so i mean it'd be long grass but i mean it that junk ought to be taken out of there yeah but legally if they're if they're if they got license plate renewals and they're up to date we, we can't tell them to move their car or their camper, right? I mean, so I'm just wondering where that, you know. I don't know where it is. That's, that's why it would be a good idea to have Bruce out there with them. Yeah. None of the vehicles are registered on their property as we speak. Okay. Huh? The trailer, the fifth wheel, yep. yeah. is nothing but a storage bin. Obviously. Okay. Then that's a problem. <laughs> and I, I think we can wait because Mary um, has, has said that there are a number of steps that she would like to suggest to, the, to us um, when we get to that situation. Yeah, she has, after she sees. Yeah, she's dealt with some others and mm -hmm. said, I, I've got some ideas that. that so it would be on our next agenda then? It would be on the February agenda, okay. unless there's a reason to call a special meeting or, or whatever. Okay. okay. So I guess we just put it on the next agenda and see where we're at, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay. 
Next item is discussion and possible action on membership in the Town Advocacy Council, which is the old uh, Towns Association uh, group, Rural Towns Association, which we've always belonged to. Uh, let's see, what's the fees are 25 cents per population for a total of $769.50. It's the old um, urban town. urban towns. Urban towns. We did this before, just a different. Oh, yeah, we've been oh, yeah this is now the, I think the second year that they're at naming it this way. Oh, yeah, so it, this is it, a renewal. They renew. They just rename themselves. Right. It used to be urban towns. Okay. okay, I'll make a motion to approve the spend seven hundred and sixty-nine dollars and fifty cents to the town advocacy council. I'll second it. Okay, motions made and seconded to. Uh, uh, Join the membership to the Town Advocacy Council in the amount of $769.50. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. <coughs> Next item is uh, discussion and possible action on Cambridge Fire purchase of Engine 1. If you remember, uh, they ran a capital campaign for the new engine. At this point, we are approximately a quarter million dollars short of what it would take to order that engine. Uh, we visited the other day with uh, PNC, which is a finance people uh, that work with Pierce, who is the fire engine people, and they have offered to lease us that shortage uh, for a period of five years and that would allow us to get the full discounts on like a prepayment on the engine which those discounts amount to about eighteen thousand dollars a little over uh, as you're aware we got engine one actually we're almost we're a year late on ordering engine one Right behind that is the squad, uh, which is due in 2020, which is next year. Uh, and that is a, that'll have a price tag of about $350,000. So if you, you know, if we push this one off for a year, now we're back right into that one, and, and we got an uh, engine that's 24 years old at this point uh, that needs to be replaced. So, uh, we asked Mary to, to do resolution, and you got it in your packet. Uh, resolution 2019-1. It was in your stuff for tonight. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and that basically tells us as a community, uh, us as Oakland, telling the fire commission that we are behind doing this. And our responsibility over a five-year period would be $120,275 or $24,055 a year. That's what, that's what the arithmetic comes out to be. Okay. $120,275. $24,055. Okay. Yeah, Jimmy, the total amount is $250,000 in the, in the whereas. So the shortage is a half or a quarter million. Yeah. yeah, we are we are approximately a quarter million dollars short. Now we are, we have applied for a grant from the foundation. Uh, that could amount to as much as eighty thousand. You don't know that until it actually happens, April first. The thing is, the engine has to be ordered by February first, or it's going to go up three percent. Plus, we're going to lose the discount. The engine costs is six hundred and twelve thousand dollars. So you're looking at, at kind of a double whammy. You're looking at an eighteen thousand dollar increase plus you're looking at an eighteen thousand dollar missing eighteen thousand dollars in discounts. So to me it makes sense to do this and that's why we met with, with the people from PNC uh, to see what they would do. So uh, each 
in order to do this, in order for the fire commission to do this. We as a commission cannot borrow money. Uh, municipalities can, but, uh, but our commission is not uh, eligible to borrow money. So we would have to have a resolution from each of the municipalities in the commission. To make to this that. work. Yeah, to make this work. That's why we have that. And are they going to continue to do their fundraising efforts? Yes, we so are going to continue doing may. the fundraising effort. Okay. Uh, last week uh, we picked up a check for $50,000 from an individual. Uh, 35 of that being a donation, $15,000 being a commitment to buy the old engine, hmm. which the old engine's probably worth nine, maybe ten. So he was very generous in doing that. He's a uh, member in the Christiana community who wants to stay, uh, wants to stay, don't want anybody to know who it is. Uh, so, but those are the kind of efforts that we're, you know, as a commission, we're putting forward to try to get get more money brought up. Plus, we have applied for that grant. Has anybody looked into leasing the, the unit in its entirety? Is there any advantage to looking at that, and what, what does that do for the well, budgets? The, the lease, uh, we did not, but we may on the second unit that comes to it. Uh, uh, the squad that comes due in 2020. And they did tell us that if we did decide to do that, or even a portion of it, that uh, they would roll that into this, they could roll that into this lease. So we'd have, you know, then one lease. But So for Town of Oakland's share of this lease is $120,275. Over five yes. years. Yeah. Over okay. five years. And our first payment's payment. not due for one year? One year. Oh. And, and, you know, just with the price of these things going up so high and having several units being due, is, is leasing all these units maybe a better option? You know? Well, it, it's certainly things uh, that other companies are looking at. Uh, I sh other fire districts are looking at. Uh, they, they talked about a district down in Alabama, I can't remember, the town, he said, they now have seven different units on lease. And, you know, then you've got a fixed cost. And it's a renewal of and however many years you're going to trade mean, it in. Every fire department out there is replacing units every 20 years. The last thing you want is an engine to get out there <coughs> and start fighting a fire and almost the pump goes to heck on them. Right. And now we're stuck. What are we going to do? You know, let the building burn down or what? Mm -hmm. So it's it's important to have up to date equipment, and we know the pump on engine one is not great. It's working. Uh, George keeps working on it, but it's it's getting to the last leg. Yeah. The and other then, the other issue on the leasing is depending on what's happening to interest rates. Yeah. Um, you know, the more we dependent on leasing and if interest rates continue to climb up, that may not be as good of option as what we had thought at some other time. So it's, it's kind of a mixed bag. Well, the interest rate on this lease is approximately the same as what the municipal rate is to borrow money. 4.24 percent. I'm going to say you're going to have an interest rate either way. I mean, yeah. depending on if they yeah. make your agreement of we'll keep it the same or not. But the thing is, and, and you know, as you're aware, every municipality is in the same boat we are. Mm -hmm. We don't have a lot of money sitting around to do this, and yet our, we're statutorily required to, provide. to have fire and EMS protection, uh, which we wouldn't want to be without, no question. Uh, but you have to have up-to-date equipment as well. Have any other districts passed this yet, or are we the first? This is the, this resolution came to me at 5:30 tonight. Oh, Mary so finished first, it today. Yeah. Okay. We'll be taking it up at the commission the Thursday night at the commission meeting, and then the municipalities are going to take it up at their next board meeting. Uh, the village, I don't know, they got twice a month, but. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm not sure. Christiana, I think, is 
probably the next one, and then Lake Mills. So what are your thoughts? Uh, I think it makes sense to me. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Where's the $24,000 going to come from? Well, we're going to put it in our next budget, right? Because yeah, it's not we're for have a year. We're going to figure out how to get it into the 2020 budget, along with everything else that we have. It's just an, another additional expense that's going to go into the tax base, right? I mean, that's what's yeah. happening. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, all the departments will be getting new equipment too. At least this we know what the budget for. Yeah. Although then the squad will come up. That'll to be the following. Well, the squad, we'll best guess at this point is too. the squad is going to get pushed back a year just like this one got pushed back. I, okay. I don't know that for sure, but that's my best guess at this point. I don't think anybody's going to want to tackle that one a year after this one. Mm -hmm. But we still still do have some uh, contributions coming in on our campaign that we sent out with the tax bills and and personal personal contacts. Uh, we've probably got uh, 100 and maybe 125, 130 thousand dollars have come in on on uh, contributions. So our amount may be less than what this is. I think or we're probably think set on this stone. amount. Okay. The thing that might offset this amount is if we get a grant from the, from the foundation and that grant has to be applied to this engine, then that number would come down. If, then I don't know exactly how the, how the foundation would do that. And we don't even know if we get a grant, you know, get a, we requested it. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean it's coming. Right. Mm -hmm. I would move adoption of Oakland Resolution 2019-01 that um, requires five years of $24,055 for the engine replacement. I'll second it. Okay, motion's made and seconded to approve uh, resolution number 2019-01 uh, for uh, an annual payment for the new engine at $24,055. Any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. I did include a, uh, the Reliant, I think, did everybody get that or not? The Reliant uh, uh, contract. Yes, it's in the Maybe I didn't. Oh, no. I don't think I did. No, I, 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 I'm sorry, I didn't do that. I just copied that out before I came. But I got that if you want to look at it. The seven page on the, on the actual engine purchase. Mm -hmm. Okay, next item, uh, discussion and possible action on local roads improvement program reimbursement request and lock-in of long-term loan rates. Uh, the grant request for Ripley Road went in yesterday. Yesterday. Uh, and there's a copy in your And you got a packet. copy in your uh, packet. The handout from tonight. The total cost of the project was $1,264,319.33. We applied for uh, half of that, which is $632,159.66. So we're going to, uh, when that comes, and hopefully it'll be the full amount, uh, we're going to need to look at a long-term loan for the balance, which we've talked about all along. So I did some exploratory on that, and uh, I checked with Badger Bank, who we took our short-term loan, or excuse me, our construction loan out on, 
and I checked with United, and I also checked with the Land Trust. Uh, both uh, United and Badger, when we originally made this request two years ago, two and a half years ago, gave us a quote on what they would what they would do for the construction loan, and then they gave us a separate quote for what they would do on the balance, which at that time we had talked about as much as, as $800,000. Uh, <clears throat> Badger Bank came back and, and said they would honor that original request for, at that time we were talking about seven years, Two years have now passed. They would honor the ro the rate they quoted us on the seven year of 2.82 for five years, and then the second five years on a 10 year loan would be 3.95. Okay, United uh, came back really not interested in looking at the old quote that they did, their rate would be 4.39 for a 10-year loan. Hmm. The land trust would be 4.24 for a 10-year loan. So what I'm looking to do is lock in that low rate, the one that Badger quoted us, uh, when the grant comes, when the grant money comes, chances are it's going to be two to four weeks before that comes. Uh, I may not be here. I'm going to be gone in the month of February. Uh, but we'd like to, at that point, lock that in with Badger. I mean, that's my thought. I, I don't know what your thought is, but I don't think we can turn that low. Low interest rate for five years. Yeah. 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 Well, well even the second five yeah, years is lower. still lower. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it, it just, uh, to me, it makes the most sense to do that. Lock that in so that we're... Yeah, yeah I agree with Gene. It, it makes a lot of sense for us to, to say to Badger, lock this now and we'll execute the paperwork once we get the as soon as the, of the... As soon as the grant the comes in, we can... We just can send it over and put it through. Yeah, yeah. in essence. And that would be annual payments, amateurized, of course, but I mean, it would be annual payments, so we're not having to do a monthly payment. It would be an annual payment. <clears throat> and if you remember, we talked about our, our, our short-term loans that we do now <clears throat> for road construction and also for EMS and fire, uh, using a portion of that for this. Yeah, that's, I think that's, that's interest kind of rates look the best. Do. I don't know if there's worth shopping anywhere else, but these well, are local, I guess. And, well, I well guess the land right. trust is the supposed to be yeah, the, the big one, best, yeah. right. and it's not. And well, uh, four point two four. I mean, it's good, but it's not as good. As right. When they told me that, I'm thinking, okay, that's exactly the same number that we got from from PNC for the lease rate on the engine. So mm. I mean, that's the rate. Yeah. That's that's what it is. I'm good with using Badger. Okay, if that's the case, then I'll entertain a motion. Okay, I'll make a motion to um, use Badger Bank at the interest rate of 2.82 for the first five years and 3.95 for the second um, for the Ripley Road project. I'll, I'll second. second it. Okay, motion's made and seconded to lock the long-term loan rates in for Badger Bank at the rate of 2.82 on the first five years, 3.95 on the second five. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. <coughs> uh, discussion and possible action on upgrade to the town hall security system. Jimmy, you didn't get too much. Yeah, we got a little bit back from, from Carter from Best Defense. Um, we got an initial proposal to do um, the, the big scope of kind of everything that he wanted to do for us, secure the, the doors, the windows, uh, you know, all kinds of things. Um, uh, we're still negotiating with them on, on the, getting some panic buttons and some sirens and some lights, and 
We've been playing phone tag a little bit, uh, so I don't have a firm price or a quote um, to bring to the meeting yet. So okay. um, we want to continue that, um, those efforts. I will keep following up with him and, and try to do that. If we want to do something else, so I guess it's up to the, the group. But um, Well, let's see where that goes, I guess. And in, in, uh, Ted had some ideas, too, on, on uh, maybe some security cameras inside and out. Uh, panic buttons, maybe uh, you can get with Ted and have some discussion yeah, we, on that we've as been well. talking yep. about okay. sirens and so lights. lights. So, okay. yeah. so we, we are in the process. Uh, I guess I thought it would be a little quicker as far as getting uh, the exact quotes, but we were maybe not as clear on our, our purpose, so we're trying to revise that, and, and we should have something back from him hopefully soon if, if he's, okay. he's willing to do that work, so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, next item, discussion of possible action and upgrade to the town hall uh, computer systems. Ted, got, I'm going to turn that yeah. over to you because you've been kind of taking care of that one. You got um, um, the initial proposal from um, KC Computers, yes. and then you got, got a second sheet. summary sheet from me um, yeah. that, that went, went along That's with this one that. here, plus these? Yes. Yeah. And we've, um, we've talked with them, and we're fairly comfortable that what we've spelled out here will take and fix everything. We're going to start with replacing our stit and switch and that serves all of the offices. And the new switch would allow us to segregate um, everybody so that they can't see each other files. Right now, it's possible if you are on our network, which Lake Ripley is, sanitation, courts, police are, that if you were smart enough, you could actually get into other users' files. Yeah, we don't want that. Yeah, <laughs> so the, so the, new, the new switch that we're going to put in will stop that. Yeah. And so everybody will, will still use a common switch, but it'll be segregated and won't allow By that. By a passcode or a password. Um, yeah, in some other system. It'll also be a switch that's 12 years newer than what yeah. we have. And about and 10 faster times faster than what we've had than before. What we have. So and then a new firewall system, well, we have an existing one, again, an updated firewall to, to block that. Um, so that's one of the key points that goes in. Then we're going to go to a server solution. Right now, everything is on the laptop. And, and it's supposed to feed the clerk's, the deputy clerk's computer, and it doesn't. And we spent eleven $1 hundred dollars trying to make this work. We can get a new computer for eight hundred. Um, so what we're going to do is buy a, a server with um, a, an extra hard drive on it, and then replace the deputy clerk's old computer with a laptop. And all of the the data and all of the programs will reside on the server. And then as they need them, they, they can pull them back and down to the server. So that's, that's the second piece. And then the, the third piece is going to a cloud backup system um, with, with security systems on it. We debated maintaining our own hard drives and stuff, but that was you were going to have to do that every day, and somebody had to take one home with them. Yeah, you so we had an off-site. And, and while it's a little bit more expensive to, to pay the annual fee for using the cloud backup, we can, we can do that. And in the long run, we're probably less likely to have problems doing that um, than uh, anything else. I think other townships are doing that also, right? Yeah. They're using the cloud. I think I remember hearing yeah. that in the association meetings. Yeah, and, well, and, and, it's, and there are a number of ways of securing that with, with um, the algorithms to to make it so it's not like you know when you send a note to one note or yeah that's all encrypted yeah it's all going encrypted. into the cloud is all encrypted so. and then there's some other small work and we're talking about um, whether yeah, or not we want to go to Office 365 in an enterprise that we're we're varying a little bit on that um, but right now you know we've we've done a an estimate in. There are a couple of these pieces of equipment that we can find a little bit cheaper, and so we're negotiating with them. But right now we're at about $5,900. Don't forget the shop. 
shop with Oh, them. yeah, and then the one thing, I'm, thank you. I forgot that we have problems communicating with Jeff and him getting access to the internet and doing his PACER reports or paper reports, and so we are looking at fixing that system up. Um, and that's probably about $1,000 of this. Six on top of the 59? Yeah. No, no, included. No, that's oh. included. It's an included part here. Okay. So, part of this stuff. So what I, what I would recommend is that we um, put a not to exceed and pr proceed with this on a not to exceed basis of $7,000. Because we'll know that we're going to need to do some fixing of wiring and relocation of things. And we haven't, we've, we've done an estimate based on what we think will work for the garage, but we have to actually do a site um, test and, and so there may be a little bit more. So what I would, would recommend is that we allocate a, a not to exceed and, um, and if we're successful in hiring someone, um, I would like to have the opportunity to run this by um, if we get a new person in that has some more experience before we make an actual purchase. You know, we probably should have done this years ago, and it's just yeah. a cost that has to yeah. happen. I get that. Didn't we approve some money to, to buy a computer already? Yes, we did. Is that yeah. part of this, or are we no. taking that from somewhere we, else? Or what are we, doing? we believe that... Um, we believe that may have been bought and not in, not used as intended. We we did buy a we did buy a new laptop, but it did not go to the deputy like it should have. The old laptop she had was slow. Right. Uh, probably Sorry, still overloaded. using the same desktop that Wendy used and yeah. that was used for years before that. Okay. So, uh, and the intent when we approved that computer purchase, at least as I remember it, was to replace that desktop yep. that was on Lori's desk. And that's desk. not what got replaced. And that's not what that, that didn't, didn't happen. happen. It went to the clerk. So, Is it still here? That's what We that? have it, right? Oh, yes, we oh, have it. Oh, it yeah, yeah. And we we it got it. it and so the only one that we're going to, we're only going to buy one new one, which right. will be the deputy. Okay. Uh, I then, just, yeah, I just wanted to do, okay. Yeah. So. so basically, they'll both have new right. laptops. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it isn't like it, the 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 laptop that Veronica had uh, that she decided to keep the new one for. That laptop, and you've tried it num numerous times. Yeah. Uh, there's something wrong with that. There's I, I don't know if it's overloaded or. Or it what? But it, it just plain don't work uh, the way it should. And that's you, why she kept the one that she and, had. And and that's part of the the problem is that we load everything in the world on, on the lap on the laptop, and so we we overbuy what a we server. yeah we overbought what we truly yeah. need. No, yeah. Yeah. These guys so, are professionals. They obviously know yeah. what they're doing, and you're you're comfortable. You met with them. I'll make a motion to approve up to seven thousand dollars to. To um, upgrade the computer systems at Oakland Township. I'll second it. Okay, motions made and seconded to spend up to seven thousand dollars to upgrade our computer systems uh, in the office and in the shop. Uh, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Okay, correspondence. We got our. Uh, did we get a court report? I don't know if it. If um, I, I don't. Did. I don't think so. There's some others in there. Yeah, uh, we've got the uh, district meetings. I put them in there because that is that sneaks up on us fast. It's March second yeah, at the brew house in Whitewater. In fact, we would like to know before the February meeting. Yeah. Who's whether going? whether you're going to attend or not, so that we can do Send a registration and and get that approved at our February meeting. Right. Now so this one is, well, we, we're all certified for the Board of Review. Yes, this right. is not Board of this Review training. Board of Review training. No, it is not. It was in your last WTA magazine, if you had a chance to look at that. Uh, yeah. So let uh, let us know in the office. What was the date again? Uh, March 2nd. There's a whole big sheet. There's a sheet in your packet. In your packet. This one here. And March 2nd yeah. is the one over right there, on the, way on the bottom, the bottom. Way on the bottom. 
Oh, it's yellow. got yellow Second highlight on it. Second from the bottom. There you go. And you can just, if you turn it over, there's registration. If you right. Just give us that if you want. It's fine. But that way, so. That's the same place we went for the last one. Right. right. So. And the other item in correspondence is <coughs> a letter from Jefferson Fire. They have had no calls in the town Not in 2018. <laughs> well, I guess that's good, right? Yeah. We've been busy here. <laughs> <laughs> it is good. And okay. then late um, added to this were um, a profit loss budget versus right. actual for 2018, and then a new one starting for 2019. Right. So, you so have this is P&L. This is uh, right. So take that along, review this. it. We aren't going to go through it line by line tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> so is this something that the uh, company, uh, payroll company, is doing for no, us? No, we now? actually we did, we, you this did is, this. Yeah, this is a. Oh, wow. we're able well, to we, we've done we've done it in the past quarterly. Yeah, we just we so we, we wanted to get to the end of the year for eighteen and and everybody to have because you haven't seen the budget you know since we approved it now it's put where it's, it's supposed put to in, be. Okay. Yeah. All so, right. Yes. Thank you. Okay, approval of disbursements. Uh, you might want to look at that because it totals over three million dollars. That's paying out uh, the tax, the tax pass-throughs to the school systems, to the state, to the county, all that. That's where a big chunk of that comes from. Yeah, that's easily two hundred and fifty. What is the my tax account? What's that? So is that like a EFT? Yes. Yes. A Wisconsin Department yeah, of Revenue. Yeah, that's Wisconsin Department of Revenue. Okay. They take that automatically. Okay. So I'll entertain a motion. I'll move to approve the monthly disbursements from EFT EFTPS through 40. check number 40127 in the amount of $3,098,315 dollars and 62 cents. A second. Okay, motions made and seconded to approve disbursements in the amount of $3,098,315.62. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Just as a, yeah, point, of <laughs> as a point of information, we did collect $7 million in taxes. Oh. In through December 31st, so we can do this. And we still have more to come. Yes, so we don't get to keep all that. that no. Obviously. No. <laughs> no, there'll be a lot of that going out. Yeah. Okay, I'll uh, entertain a motion to go into closed session. Okay, I'll make a motion to go into closed session. Do we Second. Need a roll call vote or? Roll call vote. 